So we got a big Pacific clash in week two. The Cali Cascadia. Now, the Cali Cascadia, it consists of the L.A. boys or the Cali boys, the Cali boys and the Cascadia boys. Now, that's not an official MLS um, rivalry uh, name. It's just something that I named because the Cascadia boys don't like the fact that the Cali boys, well, largely the L.A. boys, get more love than they do. Yes, Seattle is, has been more successful than um, LAFC. The all three Cali boys, Seattle has been more successful. But Cali still gets the love. And I, I don't know what to say. Seattle fans that will cheer up your spirits. California has always been the most popular state than Washington. Los Angeles has always been a more popular city than Seattle. The Bay has always been a more popular region than the Great Northwest. It's just a reality. All you can do, Cascadia boys, is continue to beat them and beat them bad whenever you play them. And we're going to see what you do this week because Portland travels to LAFC. Vancouver travels to San Jose. When it comes to Vancouver, Vancouver, I don't understand you. It's like, it's like the same mistakes that you have been making the past two seasons. It's like you're making that same mistake. You made that same mistake in week one. You can't hold a lead. You can't finish games. You play tough, you play good in the first half. In the second half, you come out flat and you stay flat. Once again, you allow a team in Salt Lake to come from behind in the second half and beat you. You got to find a way to snap out of that bad habit, Vancouver. You're making the Cascadia boys look bad. Look, we got nine seeds available. And in my opinion, it is fitting for the Western Conference if all three Cali boys, all three Texas boys, and all three Cascadia boys make the playoffs. But that's not going to happen in Vancouver. If you don't learn how to play the game for 90 minutes, So you're playing against the San Jose team. A San Jose team that was beaten by Atlanta. And that game wasn't as close as the score suggested. Yes, San Jose scored first against Atlanta. But Atlanta had multiple chances to, to, uh, to score more than two goals. And they just didn't execute. Largely, uh, Araujo, Luis Araujo, he had multiple opportunities to score, but his aim was just off. But more so speaking of you, San Jose. San Jose, let me tell you something. We are going to put the pressure on you all season long. San Jose, it's time for you to pick up the slack. You're making the state of California look bad. Sacramento is better than you. That's a USL squad. Oakland Roots is better than you. San Jose, you're not a top three Cali team. Yeah, you're in a, in a top league in MLS. But you're not a top three team in Cali. You're not even a top four team in Cali. You got the L.A. boys, and he got the two USL squad, the two USL boys, Oakland and Sacramento. They're better than you. So, San Jose, you're the fifth best team 
in Cali. Well, as a matter of fact, I'm not even sure if you're better than San Diego. Well, actually, you are, you are better than San Diego. San Diego's not all that. San Diego alone. So San Jose, you're not even a, a top four team in Cali at the moment. You're the fifth best professional soccer team. San Jose, you're better than that. You are better than that. You're in a region that is starving for success. You're in a region that's starving to see some playoff football. San Jose, you are in a large, you're in a soccer metropolis. You are in a soccer region filled with Liga Max fans. Wouldn't it be fitting for you to play better? To convert those Liga Max fans into MLS fans. They would love to cheer for the home team. Instead of cheering for a team that's across the border. But you San Jose, you're not giving them something to cheer for. This is what I'm, we are putting the pressure on you. This season, San Jose. All season long. Every week. And when I say we, I mean independent bloggers. Independent YouTubers, independent Twitter accounts, independent uh, Instagram accounts, and even independent TikTok accounts. Whenever you play bad, the TikTokers are going to make fun of you, San Jose. And they're going to make a mockery of you, San Jose. You are going to continue to put the pressure on you. Until you play better. Because there's no reason why any team in California, whether it's MLS, USL, NISA, NPS, NPSL, uh, Next Pro, there is no reason why any team in California should be struggling. Because California is the soccer capital of the West. So San Jose... As you host Vancouver, I want to see a team that's playing like a playoff contender. I want this game against Vancouver to be the start of something special. Let 2023 be your comeback, your comeback party, your comeback story. We all know your history, how things were before the original team relocated to Houston. If that original team never relocated to Houston, it would probably be a different story. It wouldn't be Seattle and LA Galaxy as the best two teams in MLS. It would be you, San Jose, and LA Galaxy. We need that same original San Jose spirit back. The San Jose spirit from 96. Let's bring that back this week, San Jose. Now as for you, Portland. Just keep the momentum coming. But Portland, you have a story within the last decade where you have come up short a lot. My last memory of you coming up short was that MLS Cup Championship game against NYCFC in 2021. So Portland, you're similar to Philly. You got to find some way to get over the hump. And getting over the hump starts with consistency. Beating the good teams. And of course, beating teams that you're supposed to beat. Not struggling in the middle of the pack. Beating teams that you're supposed to beat and playing well against Dominant teams, powerful teams like LAFC. LAFC, this is your first game of the season. You know what the motto is. Get the job done. But you said, after you won the championship, the MLS Cup title, you said the job is never done. You're trying to be the real Madrid of North America. 
And a lot of people think that you're not going to be that good this year because you lost a couple key players. Well, how about you remind us this week, LAFC, that you are still that same dominant team from last season. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got.